Hello everyone, welcome back to Archers Players Minecraft Stone Block 2, in which I said I was going to do stuff off camera and then immediately just started recording again because I realised that one thing I could probably do to improve our power situation temporarily is to try and improve the efficiency of the magmatic generators that we've got going on downstairs and had a little look on old internet thingy there and it turns out I might be able to make some speed upgrades to those uh, generators. So I'm going to do this. Now the upgrade base requires a resonator and that is a gold... Gold is fine. The resonator itself is I'm going to use one of these resonating redstone crystals, which we have seen before. And I think I've got some around. Where are they? I've seen them? There you are. I'm going to make this, and then resonate. Res resonator. There you are. Uh, five iron and a block of coal and two redstone. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, oops, wrong button. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and two, three. That was lapis. Uh, make a resonator. Now, the thing about extra utilities, toi, oh, we have to make the block of coal first, is um, there's no cables. <laughs> All the power that you're creating, you're using, it just exists in your in your world. In, it, it's attached to your player, which is interesting. To me at least, because it means that I can just sort of shove this here, right? And it's going to get power. Does that need power? It might not need power. Um, but anything from EU2 will re just be powered off of the network. Because I, I basically I realized that downstairs, the magmatic generators say uh, that they are producing grid power not of 64. There's no grid power, which is a problem, even though I have... A whole bunch down there as well. So I thought that what I might be able to do is just improve the efficiency, uh, i.e. the speed of those machines. So I'm going to try it with one of them. This. Do that. There we go. And then put this in here. So you see how it's using power now? I see. So this is going to charge up with GP. Because the thing is, I've got the... Um, I've got those water mills over there, so I can actually produce 64 GP, which is great. It's just that the actual, uh, the, the magmatic generators, which are on this level, these ones can produce GP for me, but they're not. It was the water mills producing enough GP there. This one is just constantly outputting into there and causing this thing to fluctuate and die, uh, which is a problem. Because even this is empty. In fact, I do have a battery. Is that a battery? I think it's just an accept. I don't know if I need that, to be honest. Um, so, let's try making this. What are we making? Speed upgrade. The ooh, caps lock and terrible typing. Speed up. This one. Uh, one gold, one block of So An easy peasy lemon squeezy. Only a gold. Uh, one gold. I've got loads of this stuff because I keep going mining. Nice, <laughs> enjoyable, and fun, and I like it. So don't um, don't at me. Right, let's try this. Jump off the edge here. We like breaking our legs very regularly, so it's always good that way. So that might help. See, now it's producing ATRF. Interesting. That might be enough. I don't think it's enough. One of sixty-four. Ah, it uses power. So those water mills are... Mm, hang on. I see, I see, I see. Hmm. It's possible that those four water mills are going to power the speed upgrades for those uh, magma generators. Interesting. I like the idea. I'm, I'm into it. Let's get a bunch of this. Just a stack because I'm lazy. And then uh, go down here and then make... Ooh, scary noises. One, two, three. You can produce these. This only takes eight GP. Those are producing, I think, eight each. How much are you producing? That's 16. So each one of those is way more than enough to power what we're doing at the moment. Got four of them. Which is why you have 64. That makes sense. So those magma generators are actually consuming GP, grid power, to... Uh, go faster. So when they start off, they don't consume any GP at all. Guessing, therefore, that 
uh, a really poor redstone. Another few blocks of redstone. I think that's okay. Uh, I mean, I could probably read up on how that works rather than just guessing. But where's the fun in that? One, two, three. Uh, get rid of that. And then these, please. And I think you can probably have more than one speed upgrade in. Don't crash. You haven't crashed. Okay, good. Oh, I can't be bothered restarting you. <laughs> can. Ooh. And you're using four. Hey, look at that. That's really good. So what if I just gave you one back, put one in you, one in you. you. So you're producing 80, 80, 80. Not helpful. Uh, I think you're producing 80 RF a tick, because that's what that says, right? Um, and that's using four, so that's four eight, so 240 at a cost of four. When you put when I put four in it, it was producing, it looked like it said 200 RF, which I'm guessing is 200 RF per tick. It's really difficult to see how much this is actually producing, because this is just turning lava into RF via the magic of GP if you really want it to, which is weird. Um, so now we, every time we look at a grid power thing now, it's going to say 4 or 64. That's really good. I'm a, half, I'm a fan of that. Um, so this is more than keeping up. And I didn't know that would happen. Because look, this is just constantly flooding the system. But now our AE system should be usable again. Let's find out. What was that noise? <laughs> it wasn't me. Hooray! Oh, Frav just day. Kalu Kale. He chortled with his glee? You could probably get powered. Oh, that's actually really good. That was so cheap. I should have thought of that ages ago. I didn't even realize it had an upgrade slot until I started reading this stuff on the internet. Right. Um, this I, I didn't figure this out in the end. The uh, the end of the, the mob farm thingy. But what I can now start doing is maybe considering... Uh, it, 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 very good. Um, we could consider making the ender io fluid conduits that aren't rubbish <laughs> the ones that can contain more than one these are really the only ones that we haven't um made top notch because it's the only one i think that doesn't just start off with resonate because it does have conduit binder but no resonation type things uh, all the other ones i'm pretty sure if I have a look for Ender Conduit, um, the item conduit has to start off with the resonating stuff. All the other conduits have, well, you know, their own particular thing. The redstone conduit, this is the one that has all the channels of redstone in it at once. You know, these, are, these are pretty decent, dense ME conduits. You can, we can run ME cables alongside all the other ones. It's really good. I don't know how many you can hold in one thingy. The only other one is the gas conduit, which works like the fluid conduit. So I don't really see why we wouldn't just uh, have this. So this is in the induction smelter. It's going to be an energetic alloy on an ender pearl. An energetic alloy we made by accident, I think, a while ago. Because it was just redstone and iron, maybe? Redstone, gold, and glowstone. So we need a better source of glowstone because we discovered this recently. We don't really have um, a decent source of glowstone. We don't have a source of this glowstone either, so that's not helpful. Um, really, our main option is sieving dust. I don't like that because it's not good enough. Uh, loot crates is an option, and everything else is just smashing up glowstone blocks, except... We can probably have, there's probably glowstone seeds, right? Yes, it's only tier three. We do need a lot of glowstone to make them. So, how much glowstone do we have? Two. Guess I'll go off camera a while. <laughs> uh, sieve some glowstone dust. Do you know what? Let's do something else. Um, I don't, I don't necessarily need to make that fluid conduit. Now, we can fix the end of the mob farm <laughs> later. Nothing spawned in there anyway. Um, I, I removed the void thing here because this is just not going to work. In fact, just stop trying, I guess. Um, we have one tank and it's going to be this stuff. 
and it's always going to be extracting and it's always going to be filling up that thing. We should make a door. Uh, which is full. So this has been trying because see how it's trying. I'm not saying why it doesn't work. It's possible that it just can't work. So what I might do here is oh let's try one thing. Yes, that's a good idea. Let's try now that our AE system is back online. Let's try making a tier one. I don't want to make a tier... Uh, I've got a tier 4. But I don't want to use it because it's probably going to completely overload the thing. Um, oh, I hope that worked. Uh, by which I mean, I think it's going to make such a difference to the area of effect that we end up with wither skeleton spawning outside of our... Yeah, so we're going to do this and then this. So this should... Look how much of a difference that made. Although, mind you, kind of wish that you had gone down one. But we can pick you up. Um, let's do this. Uh, fluid extract always active. So this should empty this out. Back into that tank. And we can pick this up. How's our riff doing over here? Is this still full? Yes. Quickly. I'll do. Pick that up. Uh, and then we'll go and get our conduits again. Well, this one here. One fluid. Pop. Uh, no. Here we go. One fluid. One fluid. Correct. One redstone and one energy. That's what we're going to need now. Stacks. Stacks. There we go. Redstone. Uh, and then only one left. Wow, we we are cutting this fine, my friends. Fine indeed. Redstone go here. Energy go here. Mob imprisonment to turn this on. <laughs> it is off. Isn't it? it is very confusing. What? No. Uh, maybe, but no. I wiped it there. Wouldn't have moved it in the first place. Here we go. Right, you're getting roofs. What we need. Uh, you need to be extract no. Input uh, output on brown and extract energy. Right. Uh, why are you not filling up? You are filling. Why are you so slow? What are you doing? <laughs> Give me to do that. <laughs> Give me that back. You're supposed to do as you're told. Uh, don't mind. Quick. You're just really slow like that? You are filling up. Very slowly indeed. How's our tank look? You might need to turn the other lot on just to make it work. Yeah, there's not a lot in there. In that case. Oh. I'll reach it. Ah. I'll reach it. Run away. Didn't put the range upgrade in. Oh my dude. Keep up with your own. Flipping game, will you? Wait. Ah! It worked! <laughs> Stop working! Off. On. Oh! Nice. Right. I'm a fan of that. That has worked successfully. Uh, hide that. I don't know how much we need, but this is the one that produces essence, right? Liquid me empty. No. This is the... Hey, what? Get out of here. No withering me. Where did you spawn from? You're off. Always active. Oh, so rude. Did we get what we wanted? No. Heavens above. <laughs> Heavens above. Locks and mercy. Did we get what we wanted? 
plenty of stuff in here. I like that these are still in here. <laughs> What's happening? Uh, a lot of this can probably go. I need any of this? No. What we can do? I had a trash can, did we not? I don't know. Uh, what I was thinking of doing was just having a way of just emptying this out every so often with the trash can here. So I can put a trash... Well, maybe not there, actually, because that is eventually going to be covered up by more drawers. Um, so we'll turn these lights off. Like that, and turn this on. And this will produce more mob essence for us, honestly. Don't need that. <laughs> Um, that will produce more essence for us, and it's kind of pesky that you're not dragging everything out of here and into that, but I guess we'll deal with it when we come to create the vibrant alloys, which is another thing we do, but we need a lot more glowstone. So, mm, what should we do next? That's a good question, because that glowstone is kind of making things a little bit difficult on us. I really think it's through because <laughs> I had a, suddenly a good idea. I was like, oh, let's try and make these work better. And they are working much better because this is now essentially full. Uh, this one is working overtime and these ones have stopped. So it's working slowly. That's yeah, right. Uh, okay, I know what we can do because what we wanted to do was have a way of making sure that we get more than one seed every time this happens. Oh, it scares me every time I come out here because I think those mobs are baddies. But they're not baddies. They're goodies. Uh, we'll probably should do something with this tank of sludge. Gross. Uh, remember these are creating one at a time and the trouble is I feel like we've lost some seeds actually in this process. Fertilized essence. Bone meal that works on resource crops. That's nice. So you can go in here. Be a resource that lives in there. Perfect. Uh, we've got 26 of those, 17 of those. We could probably start doing something with that. What I'm actually going to do is try and figure out a way of creating more of these. And the way we're going to create more of those is going to involve thermal expansion. Uh, thermal. The phytogenic insulator doesn't cost too much. It's a lumium gear, which is lumium, which is... Uh, Aluminium blend, which is tin, 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 silver, and energized glowstone. Oh, here we go. Energized. I'm probably going to be doing some off camera work to get some glowstone, and then that will allow us to continue. But the phytogenic insulator basically um, grows things in a machine. If we have a look at the uh, mystical seeds, enter. If we want a recipe for, for example, gas seeds. You can get one from a phytogenic insulator. Now, have a look at this situation with some phyto grow or some rich phyto grow or some flux phyto grow. You can turn gas seeds into gas essence and gas seeds. It looks like it's duplicating the output, but it's actually consuming both of these and outputting the same seeds that we input. Right? Or, or a new one. It doesn't matter. The point is, it's going to use up that seed and create that seed at 100% efficiency. If we use rich phyto grow, we get 105% efficiency. And if we use flux phyto grow, which is not that difficult to make, it's the energetic confusion with rich one, and rich one is sawdust, etc., nitrate, and uh, some slag, which we can get from the uh, induction furnace, I think. Needs to be rich? Might do. Oh, the chicken can do it. Here's from the induction smelter. Uh, a pyro concentrator, that's interesting. This is yield from ores. Fair enough. Um, yeah, look, you get 15% if you do that, but if you increase it, you get... Wait, but we're not doing this. <laughs> we're not doing it this way. Um, although, that's good to know. Anyway, if you have a look at the uh, therm augments, one of these increases the output of second, there you go, secondary output, increases the chances of a secondary product as additional energy is required. But that refers to the output slot that we looked at on the phytogenic insulator in the first place. Here, so if we are using even um, basic uh, phyto grow, which will, hang on, seats, stick. 
if we're using even the, the basicest of Phytogrow, we can increase this chance and therefore duplicate the seeds eventually at the cost of energy and Phytogrow, which is still going to be slag. That's annoying. Because it's not stuff we're doing. Although I like this. You can put various things into the induction smelter and get a decent... So what we could do is make a pyro concentrator. It's going to cost a little bit of stuff, but it will turn the induction smelter into something that can increase yield. And this yield comes from... Uh, you, you can do this. Can you do that in this? No, you have to put ores in. Uh... I was thinking of doing this anyway. You can dump certain things into the, the, the induction smelter and turn them back into the stuff they were made of. And we've got an induction smelter over here. I've actually got two. Um, so I could specialize one of these with an export bus, which means we're going to have to start doing some more ME stuff. Um, if we put an export bus here to output just sort of crap that we hate, for example, this thing is full of just nonsense. So I should be able to take these and a bit of sand. See if this is going to work. Sand in there, this in here. No. Uh, can I make a full one? Well, you can turn <clears throat> a whole chest plate into a steel nugget. Yeah, great. That doesn't work for these. Alloy smelter? Okay. I was hoping for one that I could actually induction smelt and that way get some slag out of it. The trouble is you can't create slag without smelting stuff this way. So we might have to sort of do a <clears throat> sort of a cheat where we keep re-smelting stuff in order to produce slag out of it. If I do this, this should produce slag. Right. I've done that thing where I accidentally empty my hot bar. Three iron, no slag. Uh, that's three iron, no. Decent amount. Well, <laughs> what do we do? Uh, I have no use for those. Um, got nothing. We need slag somehow. We need to use these machines to produce that secondary output. We could probably, for example, if we wanted to, uh, instead of exporting iron over to the Tinkers things, we could export it to this as well as the sand and just allow it to you know keep giving us back stuff <laughs> basically um getting getting the slag is a bit difficult we're gonna have a look off camera i'm also going to do some of the um sieving to get some glowstone so that we can actually make this thing work and meanwhile i'll, I'll have a bit of a quick look why aren't you spawning why won't you spawn um I'll have a quick look and see if there's an easy way like a, a reliable way of getting slag so that we can produce this phyto grow because that's going to be kind of important to be able to improve the yield from these crops so uh yeah i'm gonna do that back in the tick yo look what the internet told me about phyto grow plus sap is rich phyto grow sap comes from the excuse me resin funnel uh or the saw uh, okay this this is a specialization for the sawmill so if you wanted to chuck logs into the uh, sawmill with an augmentation or even not an augmentation um you, you so 20 miller buckets from dark oak 10 miller buckets from dark oak but I, it says over here that you can also use the arboreal extractor so this doesn't mention it uh, okay sap bucket fluid tank yeah so the resin funnel seems to be the sensiblest way to go here in a sawmill. So all we're going to be doing is um, just creating wood planks for no reason. I do want to check if we can do that other thing that it says using the arboreal extractor placed at the back of a dark oak tree. Collect sap over time. Uh, it might do. Ow, it might do. So that's cool. It means that we don't need this. Oh, it's not the only thing. To make actual slag, one thing that is very difficult to um, really note is that there's 176 recipes here, so I wasn't going to look at them all. One of them, 
apparently is a uh, cobblestone and sand. So let's give that a go. Let's give that a go right now. Because we can. Because we have cobblestone. You know what? Let's um, get a stack of this. We've already got sand in the smelter, haven't we? If I put this in here, like this. How many is that going to take? Two? Make it faster. Yeah, it turns into stone bricks and slag. And apparently that's a 100% chance. So, I mean, I don't want these. <laughs> what am I going to do with those? But I guess that's okay because uh, they're decorative, you know? And uh, I can probably put them in a chisel. Turn them into something else. Yeah, look. Look at all these options. So, it would be nice to have some decorative blocks. One thing we haven't done yet, and which I will be doing in the Zen Minecraft things, is to decorate this place with some more decorative blocks. So... Uh, let's think about doing that. Um, we've got a little bit of a way to go first, but actually what I'm going to do is I'm going to recover these. Because, oh, one basic, I don't care about that right now. Um, we can sort this out later. I don't really need all of these, but I'm going to take them away anyway, because here I am. You say you can spawn. I don't, I don't like the idea of that. Uh... Don't need that. Yeah, whatever. I mean, we can rebuild that stuff if we really want to, but what we really want to do is put the ME interface here. Did we just get an export bus? Yes. Um, is... Where are we going to put all these parts? <laughs> this is a trouble. We need to do something like this, except... Can you use one item duck to go both directions? That's possible that you can. Let's try this. I would like some translucent item ducts as well, if you don't mind. Uh, if we, in this, say I want you to... Just say 32 cobble. There, perfect. And then I will get a couple of servos. I'm thinking out loud here, which is why my voice has gone funny. Servo. Uh, we have three of them, more than enough. If I put this on here and this on here, and do this, you are going to be ignored, so you're going to fill up with bubble. Go. Do whitelist? Um, do blacklist. Hmm. This is no fun. Uh, go. Go. I mean, you're going to be constant. Oh, there we go. Right, I think what I might have done here is accidentally. You need to be the empty. Wait, that's not right, is it? Mm hmm. Yes. And then basically everything. Because <laughs> I'm also going to need you to extract. Can I extract? No. Blacklist. Oops. I don't think either. <sighs> um, okay, this isn't working. It was a long shot, but it was worth a try. Um, what we can do then is have an export bus here with a capacity card in it. We also need to make sure this is full of um, full of sand as well. Where did my cobble go? Of course, it's not in my. Do no. <laughs> That's not my pickaxe. Give me half a stack of cover. Give me a full stack of cover. Right, you can export cobble. Probably stand to give you a. I've done that. You export? Yes. Um, and then we need an import bus. Oh, you're not going to sides, boy. Okay, okay, no, 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 no
Let's move this. Yeah. Like this. And then put this here. It doesn't need to be an import bus. In fact, this is probably cheaper. Why are you here? Go away. Um, and then you can export to side. And you can just be that slot. And then go. Nice. Right, so you're producing a whole bunch of stuff. <laughs> and then let's go up here and find our stone, which is no doubt ended up in here. And then put it. Uh, oh, we don't need this. Look. Um, Gonna go all horribly wrong in a minute. Where is my key? Probably in here. Yes. The only thing being imported to the system right now is probably either slag or these. So if we're quick, go lock that. And we can find the slag that we've been importing. Okay, this this is going pretty well. Pretty well. Uh, where is the slag? We already have slag in here. I don't know. Maybe? I don't think we had any at all, to be honest with you, but it's possible that we had some such a long time ago. We should probably go in there. It's nice to <laughs> it's nice to know I can get it, but is that it? Oh it's there, look. We're just building up slag and yeah. Perfect. There we go then. So we've got a way of creating slag, which at least means we can make fighter grow, right? This one. It just needs wood chipping. Oh, this. Mitre. Right, so this. Really? Nitrate dust. Okay. Um, we want thermal nitrate. Nitrate from thermal. Here we go. So this comes from pulverizing sandstone into sand and then sand of course turns into sandstone again so we can do that at a loss uh i don't think we can specialize I have a centrifugal separate oh. Good grief. <laughs> i have got time for this nonsense gunpowder turns into nitre at a rate of one to one we can't do that in here can we what was that blitz rod of course it is so these are all secondary chances but the uh, crusher from mechanism can do it one to one, and the sag mill from ender IO, fifteen percent chance, not good enough. So I think the the crusher might be the best thing we've got. Well, um, how much does that cost? Crusher. Oh. Uh, excuse me. No planks. Plank. Well, another thing we could probably do there for it is actually have uh, a sawmill. Did you notice the other thing we need is wood chippings, by the way? Um, but we'll deal with that in a minute. Where's my wood? What wood? Oh, a third thing we should be doing is actually getting the wood from our. That's not what I meant to do at all. <laughs> yeah, like... uh, we should be getting the wood from our trees into this system as well and we could probably do that just by dumping them directly into an interface that's not a bad idea hmm let's think about that uh you you and then we are making a crusher wesley crusher uh, no oh i nearly got that wrong from uh mech well, that's even worse. Now we need these things that I just pulled apart. Makes me a sad panda indeed, because I had a way of making those, and now I don't. Um, it was, I believe, osmium. Very well. Give me osmium. Give me death. Osmium, please. Those. Fill up a couple of buckets with... Uh, oh, I hear that noise. 
Fuck it, please. Fuck. One. Uh, mechanism. Oop, wrong one. Ha, mech. Ooh, I pressed the screenshot button. Mech, crush. Two of those and a steel casing. Just out here. Don't worry about it. Don't forget about it. This bucket, this uh, this tank here, is full of. It's actually a portable tank, so I could probably just move it. I ain't gonna. You can't make me. Doop. Oh yeah. Finish it. Yes. Doop, doop. Nice. But uh, right. So this is gonna get us our niter. The only trouble I have with this. Is that it's difficult <laughs> like it's awkward i'm not a fan of the process here how are we doing on channels on the downstairs one these actually this one or uh, okay so there's four of eight and it's just boop, boop. uh channels on the downstairs so yeah um mm. We could probably have another export bus. Could I teach you export? Export. Uh, can we make one? Yes. <laughs> Whatever then. Let's just count ourselves lucky. Well, that didn't take forever as well. Uh, we Bad. So export. Funk. Uh, Gunpowder. We could make a pattern that does it. Why do you why are you flickering? Stop that. Uh no, I think we just mm. <laughs> We'll create it as we need it for now. That's what I've decided. Um because we could just say um to, we could just say that this is the case. You do. I do. I'm not American, how dare you. We could do this, right? And then... Mm, now I'm wondering if I do... When I do this... Uh, are you still going to allow export... Oh, you're supposed to be exporting sand as well. I forgot about that. My mistake. Get a piece of sand. Get a stack of sand, because you're going to be produced forever. At least that's free, huh? Uh, you please export sand and space. Uh, we also need to get that. So one... I'm just going to watch this, because I want to make sure that that gets exported into the thingy here, because if it doesn't... No, it because uh, of that arrow there, I wondered if that was going to work. Are you going to auto-eject? I don't know. Side config, eject on. Auto-eject to... You can't be an output and an input because you're horrible and I hate you. Um... I hate this. <laughs> He's, you're making a fool of me. Um, two of those, please. Item duct. Item duct. One left. Probably the one that I took from here, to be honest with you. Do I still have my... No. Don't you accidentally. It's all sunshine. And, eh, and Nord, and then you are going to output on the bottom. There we go. So if I twist and turn away, if I request. Oh. Uh, 
If I request a whole bunch of nitre, we do have gunpowder in our system, right? Should be attached to the... Yeah, oh, that's a lot. Nitre. I can craft 10 nitre. Begin there. Go down here, and this should be making a noise. Oh my goodness, that's making a noise. You could do a speed upgrade. That's <laughs> for so sure. But it will create it. Uh, and I'm leaving because it's noisy. Let's have a look at our Ender.io speed upgrades. Ender speed... Uh, it's not me end mechanism. X speed. Oh, I don't like these. <laughs> Redstone and iron turns into those. Easy enough. Any glass and osmium dust. We could probably do it. Excuse me. But I don't care. So you should have nitre now. Nitre. You are making nitre. So fighter grow. Nearly there. Just needs uh, sawdust of some description. Dust wood. That's uh, dust wood. Solid dust wood? Dust wood. So we can make. X compressum comes from hammering birch wood. <laughs> That's not going to happen. Uh, precision saw, a sawmill from mechanism or the sag mill from ender IO. This is sawdust and electric. Oh, okay. You need a grinding ball. I don't like that. Um, and then we can just keep making planks again. <laughs> or we can use the thermal foundation. We can use the pulverizer, which is interesting. Uh, we have absolutely nothing in it. We can pulverize our old stuff. Anything made of wood. That's interesting. Uh, dark oak wood directly to... Great. Perfect. No, that's fine. Because we have a pulverizer down here. Oh my goodness. Be quiet. Uh, here. With recipes in it. It already knows how to create these two. So we might as well. I'm going to unencode this recipe. Because, again, we're a little bit low on resources. Which is kind of the problem with all these things right now. Um, but if we then look at dust wood. We can... Dust wood... We can make this one from pulverizer. What's the resin funnel for? Sawmill. Oh, yeah. Uh, this one? Oak wood, I think, is what we've got. That's pretty good. There we go. If I whack you in here, then ask for sawdust. Excuse me. Uh, go begin. That should turn up pretty quickly, right? Right? Go. So now we've made fighter grow. To the oh, by the way, all these quests we've completed by accident while I was off camera. Uh, they're all in here and here. So we have made. I made all of these because well, you were there for that. Making me a lot of uh, machines I probably didn't need to make for myself. Woo! And simple sag mill, great. <laughs> Not really into that. There you go. Let's gather all these things. Water candle, no thank you. Epic bacon. I do like epic bacon. Simple aloe smelter is helpful, I think. Uh, you're not complete yet. And then we've got a couple over here. Ooh, what is this mess? We have collected milk at some point. Basic flux storage. Interesting. Uh, more Eric bacon, nice. And a repair talisman, whatever that's for. Fluid cow. You have to make it, okay. So what's happened there is that when I emptied the, um, when I emptied the mob farm and moved it over there, I picked up everything that was in this box uh, which completed a lot of quests for me, which made me quite happy. Why are you not spawning anything? You might be not spawning anything because of how... I, uh, turned that on. If I made that a little bit closer, I could... Oh, that's full. Great. So, try this again. We can do this. Then you'll start spawning. Right? Lights on. Hey, you were working before. What oh, go on in? Let me come in there. Oh? 
actually not doing it. Go. Mm. Oh my. Redstone. Output. Brown. Input. Brown. So, are you on or not? <laughs> this is the thing I don't know. Are you on? Do you have energy? Yes, but this looks strange, don't you? We are connected. Are you connected? Dead. <laughs> uh, do you have an always off mode? Yikes! That is not my sword. I don't appreciate that. It's definitely not receiving the redstone signal. And the problem is that this decided to stop connecting, which means I need you to be permanently off. I figured it out. I'm smart. Take this. Why are you so bad? Used to connect. Really annoying. You've done it again, haven't you? Just why? Why are you so contrary? Yeah, that works. But I have to disconnect this to make that work. Yeah, and and that's no fun because now I have to. Heavens above. And put this back. Then connect you. Redstone. Output. Brown. Okay, everything's connected. Stop breaking. Okay. You go in here and then I run away. And then bomb bomb and then bazinga. And then you're dead. And then you're dead. And then bazinga and then you're dead. And then and then you're dead. And then, drop of evil, go. Drop of evil, go. go. Dropping anything? Yes. What is the likelihood? I mean, we've got it going now, right? So... Ten percent affected by looting. Not here. I don't see one. Your priority three, your priority one. Your priorities Right, that's a low yeah. I think. We should be priority two. Hmm. I don't know about that, to be honest with you. Turn these off. Now I should be uh, collecting mob essence again. Uh, hmm. <clears throat> Not quite sure about this. I don't know if I need this cobblestone generator. I'm going to dump everything in here. Uh, what we could do is go downstairs. Get rid of everything else first. Don't want you. Don't want you. You. You could be useful at some point, but not right now. On pedestal. Repairs. Yeah, my players item. I don't know how that works. Basic for stores engine the flux network. So we could do with getting into flux networks at some point, actually. Save the epic bacon for now. We've got fighter growth. So uh we're on our way to building a decent way of reproducing all of our stuff, and you should be just constantly producing slag for me, which is great. Because it will stop producing slag at the point when the uh ME inter <clears throat> the ME interface will no longer accept the uh, this stuff. And, and that's just going up, and then this is probably going up at a similar rate. And let's go downstairs and put those in. Go downstairs. There we go. All up. So, uh, one of you, and you, and one of you. So you, yes, 
decent power drain, considering. So that's like 4.24 altogether. That's okay. I think we can live with that. Uh, we've got Phytogrow. Phytogrow is the first step. The other thing we wanted to make, apart from the phytogenic insulator in the first place, I'm going to have to make a little glowstone, as you recall, um, is the specialization, not the specialization, but the thermal augment, or uh, which gives you a better chance for secondary output uh, with additional energy required. So uh, we'll probably put the phytogenic insulator over there somewhere in the greenhouse anyway, because that's what the greenhouse is for. The other thing I wanted to do is off camera, build this basement more better. And I keep saying off camera, and what I mean is on camera, but not on this camera, the silent stream sort of thing in the, in the Zen Minecraft jobby. So we'll build that up to probably put some, uh, hey look, it's just, it's just doing its job. We should probably put some fences around this because everything here seems to be in quite a lot of pain right now. And another thing we're going to want to start doing is looking at roost, which is a way of producing resources from chickens, which is something that I'm going to do very, very heavily off camera because it's really, really tedious. Um, but we need somewhere to put our roosters. And I think we could probably extend our greenhouse in this direction. Uh, how are you doing on... Because when this fills up... Well... Later. <laughs> I was gonna say, when that fills up, we know that that's full. But what we really want to do is use the the, the better fluid conduits. Turn this on. Can you just turn this on? Another thing I might do off camera is move this closer so I can do this. Zero RF. What? I can see that you're connected. Power, 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 power. Yeah, you're just totally 100% connected. What's the matter with you? I, I'm having great trouble with this <laughs> Ender IO stuff. I really, really like the fact that the Ender IO stuff um, l lets you put more than one thing in a block, which is extremely useful, but it, it doesn't seem to want to behave. Like why are you not outputting any juice? Blue output? I thought blue was input, to be honest with you. What about insert? What? Why? Why just randomly change things? <laughs> I don't remember doing any of that. Uh, whop. Whop. More things, please. Yikes. Oh, it scared me. <laughs> I was expecting it and it still made me jump. Uh, I don't know if I have to kill these things by hand to get a drop of evil, to be honest with you. Because I'm not getting any. Mildly frustrating. I don't think you get as much essence back as you gain from killing them, which is why it slowly peters out like that. I'm sure you must get them because we've seen we've seen them. I've not just got some in here and I just can't see it. No. And you don't have any. And I haven't accidentally picked some up somewhere else, have I? Go and see. This is getting a little bit boring, <laughs> not having the drop of evil that I really wanted. Drop of evil. Uh, I've got five. <laughs> I've got five and I've had them all this time. Uh, okay. Real quick then. Let me show you how this works. You're dying really fast, actually. If you're actually producing as many as you can cope. That's, that's silly. You shouldn't be producing as many... Um, enemies as you give me back for killing. It should not be sustainable. It should be a net loss. <laughs> that is how I expect that to work. Why is this always a funny shape? Should I do seven, not six? So here's how this works. Uh, you put a lot of dirt down. Okay. And I have a lot of dirt. <laughs> I thought I had a little bit more dirt than that. Uh, let's go and get some. Dirt, please. Do I have any? 
I'm not sure that I'm actually outputting much dirt, to be honest with you. Because I don't know if anything's producing it. Um, this here does not actually go through a dirt stage. Whereas the same sequence of operations when you are a uh, when you're using a hammer does produce dirt. So I haven't actually been producing dirt since I stopped sieving them. Is there a recipe? Dirt. Uh, yes, obviously. That's not very good. Dirt essence. Pulverized gravel. We'll probably get away with pulverizing some gravel because the pulverizer is nice and quick. Have a decent supply of gravel. Basically, is how this works. You put all these down, you run out just before the end. I'm going to fill this up with uh, cobble for now. I believe I've been waiting all that time for a drop of evil and I've had five. And you put this down, oof, cursed earth. Gross. Then, I'm going to take this out of here. In case I accidentally turn it on. And you turn the lights off, and they just spawn forever. It basically forces mob spawn to happen at a ridiculous rate, which is perfect. And it does respond to light levels. So that's going to be continually doing that. Might as well turn this on as well. I mean, that's not going to... Uh, losing power. Yes and no? Yeah, look. Can you do your job? You extract. You insert. You... Uh, extract. Okay, good. You're back to normal. Hooray! So we're getting good quantity of things. All we need to do now, with these drops, by the way, this is great because some of these drops are really useful in terms of just resources. You know, these things drop a lot of resources. Uh, so, in between episodes off camera, I'm going to do another long-term Zen Minecraft. I know that I haven't been uploading them, and this is probably going to go up before I've even uploaded the one that I was talking about a couple of episodes ago. Don't worry about it. Um, we'll get there. It's just that I do them more often than I upload them, and then I have to chop all the bits out when nobody cares, and all that sort of thing. So, um, I've not been doing them to a great degree. Which is fine, but I just need to get them doing. Um, yeah, so in that one, I'm going to I'll sort out the thingy. I'll do the majigger. Basically, I'm going to go and get a whole bunch of glowstone and put together all this stuff. Uh, now that we don't need to worry about whether we can put iron in here, because we've already got a source of slag, and we've got a way of upgrading it to uh, rich slag, which is nice, um, and I have upcoming an even better way of getting power, although getting those free upgrades down there kind of made it not necessary. How are you doing over here anyway? Nothing's landing in here anymore, which makes me wonder if the priority system is wrong. Um, let, what if I do you on zero and you on one? Are you going to start filling up? A pure daisy. Yes, but... Uh, I want to see if this starts filling up as a result of me doing that, because most of the stuff is going to fill up in here. But I'm surprised the drops of evil didn't go in here, if, you, if that makes sense. And also, all the bows and stuff are filling up. So now I'm wondering if the uh, priority system on this was... Receive? Whoa, hello. I, I, what? Can receive cooked apple ender IO from pile storage drawers. Draw controller, small storage crate, mob crusher. This one can receive from. Will be insert. What? Teach me. Machine buffer. Put it into draw controller, loot crate, and the interface. Is that the order in which it will try them? I think so. Why? Draw controller, loot crate, and the interface. No, this is the loot crate storage. So you're not doing anything at all. What? Loot crate storage, draw controller, and the interface. I'm confused. 
You're very pesky right now. <laughs> I hate it. I hate it so much. Everything is on extract by default. Right. Draw controller first. Loot crate second. Emmy interface third. And small storage finally. Right. So you were right the first time. You should be on priority one. And you should be on priority. West. Either. South. Zero. That is not fun <laughs> at all. What was that bone? So you. You're on priority three. You're on priority one. No. You're the first priority. Wait, what? Draw controller is first. So why aren't you putting bones in here? You and you. Get out. You. Out. Uh. It is going up. I saw that. I saw a brain just go in there. So that seems to be working now. Maybe. What are these? Chicken bait. Get out of it. Um. Well. <laughs> I fixed it. Uh, even though it really shouldn't have been broken. Oh, glowstone. That's actually really good. That means we have a source of glowstone from here, right? Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, recipe. Mob drops. And witches, of all things. So you're going to be producing glowstone. This is going to be, like I said, it's going to be great for our, our resource gathering. Also, there's a bone here. That's a necrotic bone. Um, and gunpowder is stored here. There's the trench. Okay, I think we're doing all right. I think we've finally got the hang of how much stuff we need to keep over here and what sort of things we're going to be collecting and what sort of things are going to be dropping. And it's actually putting things in the right blinking place for once, which is nice. So, thank you for watching this episode in which we learned a lot and also spent a long time once again. I help. But... I will figure this out off camera uh, between episodes. I hope you enjoy. Hope you will enjoy me for those. And until next time, thanks for watching. I'm gonna see you. Uh, Dendum. Turns out there's a round robin item mode here. If you turn this on, it just round robins everything and ignores the priority list. That's why that was happening. So I think from now on, if I watch this, which I'm gonna, uh, we shouldn't get any more problems. Maybe. Anyway, thanks for watching. See ya.